Good morning, all of anyone watching this. Good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio. So today, I am finishing my comprehensive look at the rotation by looking at evolutions and a few promo cards that we are losing as well. I'll put links to all the other videos in the description. But after this video is done, ladies and gentlemen, you know everything you need to know about the rotation so you can go forth and win yourself some tournaments. So starting off with Evolutions then, it was not the best set ever. It was very much a nostalgia slash collector set, but there were a few things we're going to miss. So starting off with Fringe Plays, we're going to lose Beedrill. I always really liked Beedrill. 2 Grass Energy, 40 damage times the number of Beedrill you have in play to one of your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, if you've got 4 Beedrill in play, that's 160 anywhere on the field. And we had Forest of Giant Plants, and we later had Counter Energy, and nothing was ever good enough to make it good. Boo! And we're also losing Rattata and Rattakate. Now, Rattata did see some play, because it was really nice just in terms of discarding tools attached to your opponent's active. Saw a little bit of play in Mega Gardevoir decks, because let's face it, you needed some basics on the bench. And then Rattakate was another card that I was a huge fan of that was never quite good enough. One colorless energy, 60 damage for each special energy in your opponent's discard. It looked so good, but it never saw much play or success. In terms of you used to be cool, we are losing Dragonite EX. Weirdly enough, another card that was really good in Mega Gardevoir. It was an EX Pokemon, and when you put it on the bench, you got to grab two basic Pokemon from the discard pile into your hand. So you could reuse stuff like Shaman and Hooper and all of that malarkey, and you could basically refill your bench really, really quickly. The other deck, of course, that this saw quite a bit of play with was Rayquaza. Rayquaza and Mega Gardevoir really wanted to fill up their bench, and Dragonite was great for that. And we're also losing Clefairy. Clefairy, I made a video about Clefairy a little while ago, saying what a good tech it can be. Free colorless energy, and you just copy one of your opponent's attacks. I mean, against something like a Tapu Bulu, you could get an easy one-hit KO by copying their Nature's Judgment. It was fun. Unfortunately, it was a bit fragile, a bit expensive, and we ended up with too many Pokemon that we just didn't want to copy moves from. Boo, hiss, etc. And there were three cards that I think are quite big losses in the set. We are losing Starmie. Now, Starmie was a nice little card that just allowed you to grab two energy from the discard and put them into your hand. This, although it was used for non-water decks... It was only ever really used for water decks. Volcanian EX loved it to grab energy back so they could then discard it and use Steam Up. I know it was a fire deck, but it's a half water Pokemon, so I'm totally counting it. And it was used for Greninja decks so that they could take advantage and get Greninja Break rolling, having all of that energy to discard with Giant Water Shuriken. So a fair bit of play. We're also losing Electrode. Electrode was a nice little card that you knocked out, giving your opponent a prize, but then you attached it as a double special lightning energy. A lot of fun, really sped up some electric decks. Saw a little bit of play with Raikou here and there, but just never really broke into the top tier like that. And we're losing Mewtwo. Now, I've never been a huge fan of Mewtwo, but I know a lot of people have played it in a lot of decks. And for two Psychic Energy, as long as you've got a Choice Band, you get a one-hit KO on a Buzzwall. You do 20 damage plus 20 more for each energy attached to your opponent's active. I never liked it as a Buzzwall counter because your opponent's Buzzwall had to have free energy on to be KO'd. But it saw a lot of play, so we need to acknowledge it. As a side note, the attack form Deoxys coming out in Sun and Moon 7 does have the exact same attack, while also having a retreat cost of 1, meaning you can use it post-rotation with a skateboard. So, if you really miss Mewtwo, you can actually have it right back. And in terms of trainers, we're using Brock's Grit. Now, the thing about Brock's Grit is that it recovered six in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy. But we're also losing Super Rod. So actually, this is a really bad time to lose Brock's Grit, but 
because it's just like a big super rod. Losing both of them really hurts. We're still going to have stuff like rescue stretcher and energy recycle system. But we're not actually going to have anything that can reliably get you a choice of either of them. And that's really quite a pain. Not a fan, ladies and gentlemen. I'd rather we kept this card. We're losing Devolution Spray, which is nice for reusing abilities, and the Raichu from Burning Shadows comes to mind. Every time you evolve up Automatic Paralysis, Devolution Spray means you can evolve up again and again. Having said that, decks like these do tend to see a bit more play in Expanded, where Devolution Spray is staying around. And we're losing Misty's Determination. This deck was actually played into Mal Cameron's 2016 UK Nationals winning list, which was the last ever UK Nationals winning list. You discarded a card from your hand, look at the top eight cards of your deck and put it into your hand. Now, Tamal played it in a Vesperquen deck primarily to search for something like Double Colorless Energy, although it also played Vileplume and it really was a deck that needed to get set up. But it never saw a huge amount of play after a little while. But it was featured in Nationals winning deck list, so I figured worth mentioning. Now we are also losing a few promo cards to the rotation. Now until recently we've been playing 67 onwards. Anything from X and Y 67 up. That's Jirachi, more on that in a moment. And we're moving to just Sun and Moon on. So from now on all of the X and Y promos will be rotated. We might as well start off with Jirachi, saw quite a lot of play for quite a while. One colorless energy, 10 damage, discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active, and if you do, you get immunity the following turn. Saw a lot of play to slow decks down, it was a lot of fun. We are losing Giratina. Now, Giratina essentially saw play... Well, it was just against Greninja, to be perfectly honest with you. It stopped abilities of any Pokemon breaks, including their non-break form. And it did see a little bit of play against Trevenant Break to turn off Trevenant's ability for a while. But really here, it was just about turning off Giant Water Shuriken. And it was a great, great tech against Greninja's. We're losing Mew EX. Now, Mew EX should have rotated out a long time ago. But it was re-released as a promo. Nowadays, it would be alternate art and not stay in the format. But back then, a new reprint meant that it stayed around in the format. You could copy your Pokemon's attacks. It was a good counter against Buzzwall. That's pretty much all it did. But it was a really good counter against Buzzwall. And bearing in mind, we're also losing Mewtwo and the Mew from Fates Collide. So, yeah. They were our kind of standard techs against Buzzwall. And they're all going away. We are losing Karen, which doesn't really matter, to be honest. Karen makes both players shuffle their Pokemon into their deck. It was a far more moderate Lysander's trump card. Thing is, it's a great tech against Vesperquen, which has rotated. And it's a great tech against Night March, which has rotated. Still good in Expanded, but then again in Expanded, it's still legal. We are losing Shaman EX, not the Shaman EX you're probably all thinking of. It is the Shaman EX, which was a Generations promo. Saw a little bit of play because the ability healed 20 damage from each of your bench Pokemon. It was quite nice. It was also a two-prize Pokemon that had 110 HP, which stopped it seeing real top-tier play. But it was, for a while, a good card that saw a bit of play. We're losing Evil Tal EX, which is only really relevant because this has been in the format since X and Y came out. And okay, I know Mew originally came out in Dragon's Exalted, but it took a big break and came back. Evil Tal has been continuously in the format since X and Y was released, and it's finally rotating. We are losing Beedrill and Mega Beedrill. Now, Beedrill actually did see a fair amount of play before Field Blower came out because it had an attack which got rid of Tool cards. What would often happen is Vile Plume decks would use it to get rid of tools attached to Garboda to turn off Garboda's ability, which turned on Vile Plume's ability, and then Garboda wouldn't be able to reattach at all because of Vile Plume's ability. Beedrill Mega never really saw much play, although I loved it. Two grass energy, 40 damage, discard an energy, all energy, and then automatic paralysis, automatic poison, with four damage counters, not one. People thought the Venusaur from Shining Legends that 
basically meant all grass energy was doubled would make this viable. I hoped that was true. It never was. We're losing Pikachu EX. We saw a little bit of play with Magnazone. I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't particularly great. It could hit for big damage, but it never really set the format on fire. We are losing Mergiana, which was actually printed a couple of times as a little promo card. And honestly here, the promo Mergiana was mostly good as a tech against the Rainbow Force Xerneas, which is of course also rotating out. One Metal Energy, 20 damage, times the number of different types of Pokemon on your opponent's bench. Really nice against a deck which wanted lots of different types and was weak to Metal. Not very good against many other things. We are losing Salamence EX. Now, Salamence EX was actually played quite a bit over in Japan. There was a period of time where it was a really good deck in Japan. 10 damage plus 50 more for each of your opponent's EX. It was a genuinely teched card into a whole bunch of decks, and it did see quite a lot of play. And then it went away, was never heard from again, but it never really saw play like that outside of Japan. Which is a little bit sad and a little bit strange. We are losing Celebi. Now, Celebi was quite nice because it had an ability which said that if it would be KO'd, flip a coin, if heads, it survives. And it had fate to stop, meaning it couldn't be hurt by abilities. Things like Decidueye, for instance. It was fun. It's all a bit of play. We are losing, and this really is the last one we need to look at, the promo Darkrai. Which I know a lot of people never really played. A lot of you might not even remember what it did, to be perfectly honest. But it made top 8 at the London International Championships. And because of that, we have to give it a quick mention. Free energy, 80 damage. You put your opponent's Pokemon to sleep. And then they flip two coins instead of one between turns. And they got to flip a double heads in order for them to wake up. It wasn't a great card. But it got top 8 at the London International Championships. So it needs to be mentioned. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the rotation. I'll update the links in the description. But now you know every single card that you need to know about from the rotation from every single set. The rotation has been fully analysed. I've done a headlines video. And I've done a video looking at every set that is rotating. So as always, pop a comment down below which card from Evolutions or Promo are you going to miss the most? And tell me your thoughts on the rotation now that we've wrapped it up. Go nuts! Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do just that. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.